everyone, it's Hannah and today I have another beadwork tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute rope style twisted beaded necklacey thing. You don't have to wear it as a necklace, you can wear it as a bracelet if you prefer. I just fancied whacking it on some chain and wearing it around my neck because you know I clearly like to layer necklaces now this is a thing that I've started to do today I was originally going to do a crochet tutorial for all of you lovely people but I got an email on Tuesday from the bead shop in Nottingham stating that they are giving a coupon code to all of you lovely people for 10% off any full priced items on order over five pounds and yes five pounds I don't know what that equates to in different currencies Sorry. They do ship internationally, which is absolutely delightful. So if you want to get your 10% off all your beading supplies and jewellery supplies, all you need to do is head on over to mailorder-beads.co.uk and when you go through to check out, enter the little voucher code, it's TCOC10, as in one zero, to get your 10% off. It's very exciting. The voucher code is valid until the 31st of December. The links and everything will be found in the description box below, so you can just click on through and check out that website. This is one of my easier bead weaving tutorials. It didn't take me very long to learn at all. It is what I spent my Wednesday doing, which is very exciting. But it's not difficult at all. It's super easy to pick up. It's very versatile and yeah. You can get different looks with it depending on what beads you use and the different size beads you use and all of that fun stuff, but I'm just going to show you how to do the basic rope. I might fancy getting a bit fancy, if that makes sense, at some point in the future when I'm a bit more practiced with it, but at the moment I'm sticking with size 8 seed beads and it's looking quite delightful. If you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and hit subscribe to see more craft tutorials here in the corner of craft and with all that being said, let's just get on with the tutorial, shall we? Okay, so for this tutorial you're going to need some size 8 seed beads, some size 11 seed beads, a stopper bead, some Nymo thread and a size 10 beading needle. I have an outside colour and an inside colour, but go wild. Go with one colour if you want, but that's kind of tricky. To start with, I'm going to attach my stopper bead as I've lost all my bead stoppers, and I'm going to leave a tail of around 10 centimetres or so. I went a bit mad on my tail, I think it was about 20 centimetres, but hey, stopper bead attached. Woo! Now I'm going to pick up four of my inside colour, which is this lovely silvery colour, and then three of the outside colour, which is hematite. Very nice, very sparkly. I'm sliding those all the way down to the stopper bead, and then I'm going to take my needle through the base of those beads that I just attached, and just go up through the four inside colour beads. So I'm not going through the hematite, I'm only going through the silver. I'm going to pull that nice and tight, and I've made a little loop. How cute. Now I'm going to pick up one of my inside colour and three of my outside colour. I'm going to skip that first bead. I don't want you, no. And I'm going to go up through the next three inside colour beads. So I'm going through three silver beads. Not four, just three. Then I am going to take my needle and go up through the silver bead I have just attached and pull that nice and tight, make the bead sit on top and pushing those hematite beads round so they sit next to the first ones I attached. And that's it, literally. So pick up another inside colour bead, pick up three outside colour beads, skip the first two silver, go through the, go through the last three inside colour beads. My goodness, that's difficult to say. I've not had enough tea yet today. And then going to go through that silver bead that uh, we've just added. Don't need my bead stopper anymore, it's getting on my nerves, so taking him off. Once again, scooting those round, pulling it tight. The inside row isn't going to sit flat, and you're going to think that it's all going to go horribly wrong, but it isn't. But I'm going to repeat these steps, so pick up one inside colour, three outside colour, and then go through the last three inside colours beads that you've just attached. Yes? If you find that it's getting a bit tight, you can't quite fit your needle through, you might need to skip or switch even to a size 12 beading needle if you're using size 11 beads or the like, or just you've got beads with narrow holes in them. Um, you might need to switch to a size 12 beading needle. These beads have quite large holes in them which make them perfect for this because I can pass 
the needle through them quite a few times which is essentially what you have to do for this bracelet anyway you're going to keep doing these steps until you have made your rope long enough to suit your wish I suppose suit its purpose there we go that was the word I'm looking for so it's either bracelet length or necklace length or whatever now I've switched to a size 12 bead needle which was a pain in the foot to thread I've now got my size 11 seed beads here to match the inside color I've picked up seven of them and I'm going up through the base of the top size 8 bead that we just attached and removing the fluff because I'm so professional then we're going to go back through all of those seed beads and I do not have enough thread left at this end that was my bad I should have done two meters of thread at the beginning I was stupid and I did one and a half it wasn't long enough then I'm going to go back through the top of all of those seed beads and go back down and you will see as you do this that you have thread obviously between all of the beads uh, it's kind of difficult to show on a camera but you're going to go under that thread or through that thread depending on your wish and make a loop and then just sew back through that loop a couple of times so that's two ones this is the twice. You see the issue because I don't have much thread left. I don't want the needle to come undone because it literally took me about 10 minutes to thread. I'm gonna pull that nice and tight and then go through some more beadwork. If you have enough thread, please tie another knot. I didn't and I'm terrified that it's gonna come undone. But the first one I made, I tied loads of knots. It was grand. Um, but then you just want to snip off any excess and repeat with the other end. With these loops you've created, you can attach jump rings and chain or just clasps depending what you want to use it for. Can't wait to see your renditions of this stitch and yes. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Your support, as always, does mean the world to me and please feel free to hit subscribe. I post a new craft tutorial here in the corner of craft every Sunday and we can start doing bonus videos in the week more often because I don't have an excuse except for the fact that I'm lazy. So I'm gonna start doing bonus videos more often as well. So be sure to subscribe to stick around for that so my new videos come up in your subscription feed. And yes, I'm very handsy and floaty today. I'm watching too much glee. That is what's happening. I just want to have a little chat with you guys just for a moment because this video I know is a slightly shorter one so I'm just going to waffle your ear off just for a little bit. I just want to thank all of you for all of your love and support for getting me to, well, now over 10,000 subscribers. It's amazing to me. When I started this YouTube channel it was purely a promotional tool for my Etsy shop and it's just kind of, you know, happened. It's crazy to me that there are 10,000 of you who care enough to subscribe to my channel and I want to say a massive thank you. I am planning a giveaway, it's kind of exciting. I'm going to be doing a giveaway on both Crafty Amino and also on YouTube, obviously, and I'm excited. I'm just waiting for the prize to arrive. They were ordered only on Tuesday, Monday, so don't hold your breath too much, but it should hopefully be coming in the next couple of weeks. Sorry if the angle has changed slightly, my camera died. <laughs> I'm going to have to pre-film a ton of videos for the Christmas season because, well, it's busy for me. I'm flying back to England and then I've got to travel around England for a bit, making sure that I see everyone while I'm there. And then my boyfriend and I are having a mini holiday when we fly back. So I need to pre-film. I am planning on vlogging our mini holiday though. If I find a new vlogging camera, because the one camera that I have at the moment is too bulky and too heavy, if anyone's got a good recommendation for a small compact, pocket sized, preferably with a flip out screen because I'm vain, that doesn't cost arm, um, leg and all my organs, that would be really good, thanks. Let me know. I've gone through all your comments from the past couple of months and written down all the requests that you have left me. They are predominantly actually lies. They are all beaded videos, so you're going to be seeing a few of those coming up. If there's any other tutorials that you would like to see me do, don't forget to leave them in the comments section below. If you recreate something using one of my tutorials, I would love to see a picture of it, so please feel free to post it on social media and wherever else you fancy with the hashtag TheCornerOfCraft so I can check it out for myself and see how talented you all are. It would truly mean the world to me and it's super exciting. A list of all my social media accounts are in the description box below, as well as links to where I bought all of my supplies for this video. They are all from mailorder-beads.co.uk. Don't forget that you can get 10% off, so use your 10% off code. They do ship internationally, 
so make the most of it. 31st of December 2015, that is when you have to use it by, so you've got a while. I'm going to be plugging it quite a lot. It's exciting, I'm excited that you can get 10% off. I don't get paid any commission or anything for anything that you buy through this website. It's not an affiliate link, nothing. I was just lucky enough to have been given this discount code to share with all of you, so I just want you to make the most of it. And that's it really, I just want to give something back to you. Thank you very much once again for watching this video, sorry that I waffled on for such a long time, clearly I'm in a chatty mood. This is what happens when you're in a house by yourself for six out of seven days in a week. You go a bit crazy. You are the only person I've spoken to today so far. And it's like 2 p.m. <sighs> Thank you very much once again for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye. Happy 1st of November to you all. I can't believe it's November already. Before we know it, it is going to be Christmas. This year is flying by.